Hello everyone, Castle Queenside here, and today we have another beauty of a game. This one was played in 1994 between Sergei Trofimov, who was playing with white, and Dmitry Metlyakin, who was playing with black. Now, this game is interesting because the white launched a full-on chase on the black king, who made one mistake and allowed this to happen. So you will see why the safety of the king is the most important thing, even in the openings. So, uh, without further ado, we will go straight into the game. D4 d5 c4 d takes on c4 so queen's gambit accepted knight f3 was played for the white c5 for the black russian gambit e3 and e6 was played for the black bishop retakes this pawn and knight f6 was played for the black castle kingside for the white and a6 for the black he's trying to play b5 and to remove this bishop from this diagonal e4 was played for the white, he's wanting to advance his pawns in the center and that's the one of the main ideas in, in this sort of openings and of course he's gambiting this pawn. Uh, you will see now why, because after knight takes on e4 we play queen e2. Knight goes on f6, this is the best move and now d5 was played for the white. In this position black made a mistake, he played b5. Uh, this allowed white to take this pawn and launch a devastating attack. So d takes on e6, b takes on c4. So right now uh, the white just gave up his piece for an attack. The next move that followed was rook d1 with an attack of the queen. The queen has to go somewhere in the game. Queen b6 was played. And e takes on f7 with a check. King takes on f7, and right now knight g5 was played. The black decided to go king g6. Now, this was played in the game, but we will go back and see what would happen after queen g5 if the black decided to go king g8. The game would continue with queen c4 check, bishop e6, knight takes on e6, queen b4, and queen e2. Right now, in this position, the computer gives a huge advantage of white. The white, the white just uh, retake his piece, uh, and he has a much better play. He's one pawn up, and uh, this is a basically a lost game for, for black. So that's the reason why uh, the black decided to go uh, king g6 to try and protect his piece. What he gained just, just a few moves before. And now the next beautiful move by white is rook d5. So he is giving up this rook for free. Why is he giving this rook? Because when the knight takes this rook, there is a e8 field left unguarded and that's the idea behind this move. So in the game, knight takes on d5 was played. And of course, queen e8 is what follows with the check. We will get back into this position just to see what would happen if, you, if the black refused to take this, this rook. So in the game, King f5 was played, of course the black cannot take this knight because it is guarded by the bishop. g4 was played trying to pull in the black king into white's camp. King takes on g4, queen c8 with a check, king h5, queen e8 check, g6, queen e2 check, king h6 and queen e5. After this move the black resigned. And we will now see why. So the best move for black in this position is queen f6. The game will continue with knight e6 check. g5 protecting this check. Bishop takes on g5 with a double attack. Because there was no other moves for black other than g5. King g6. Bishop takes on f6. Knight takes on f6. Queen g5 check. King f7. Knight d8 check, king e7, queen e5 check, king takes on d8, queen takes on f6 with a check, king c7, and we take the black rook and we win the game um, with ease. Uh, that is the reason why uh, black decided to uh, surrender this game in this position, but uh, we will go back and see what would happen. For example, uh, we said after rook d5, what would happen if black, for example, played a rook b, uh, bishop b7? 
So the game would continue with queen c2 check, king h5, knight e6 check, g5, rook takes on g5 check, king h4, g3 check, king h3 and king f4 with a checkmate. So this is what would happen in this position. Of course, after knight e6, we will go back again and see what would happen if the black simply decided to take this rook. Why not? The game would continue like this. Queen f5 check. g5. And queen takes on g5 checkmate. So maybe after queen f5, the black king can go on h4. Then the game would end with g3 checkmate so as you can see taking this rook wasn't an option as well so uh, there is no good moves for uh, for uh, black in this position but we will go uh, back one more time and see after uh, queen e8 in the game king f5 was played but we will see right now what would happen if the king for example decided to go on h6 then the game would continue with knight e6 check Knight f4 trying to block it. Bishop takes on f4. G5, sorry, g5 and bishop takes on g5 is a checkmate. If after queen e8 the black king decided to went on f6, there is other moves as well. Knight e4 check. King f5. G4 check. King is forced to take this pawn. Queen takes on c8, check, similar as the other variation. Knight blocks this field, but just for a minute. Queen takes on d7 with a check. King f3. Now we continue with knight g5, check. The king is forced to go on e2. Queen g4, check. And right now there is a few possibilities for black. One of them is king e1, which ends with bishop d2, checkmate. And the other possibility is king d3 that finishes with queen e4 uh, checkmate. So this was all for today's game. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment, like, a like and subscribe. This will mean a lot to me. I'm trying to grow my channel. Uh, thank you for watching and we will see each other another day with another game. Thank you and bye bye.